Did you know that Jaime Reyes is the third person to don the Blue Beetle mantle? Or that the previous Blue Beetles never got cool armor? Well, I did, and that's why I made this video. With leaks and trailers for the Blue Beetle movie popping up everywhere, and everyone getting confused about if this flick will be a one-off or a carryover into James Gunn's new DCU plans, I thought I'd take some time from reading comic books to shed some levity on at least one thing, Blue Beetle's powers and his suit's functionalities. All that being said, here are Blue Beetle's powers and abilities explained. For those who don't know, Jaime Reyes is the current and most popular iteration of the Blue Beetle, and is the version of the character featured in the DCU or DCEU movie, but more on that later. To start things off, and in order to understand the Blue Beetle and the evolution of his abilities over the years, we will begin by analyzing the man who first used the name. Daniel Garrett was an archaeologist who learned of a powerful artifact called the Blue Scarab, or Kajida, and went off searching for it. Because of course he did, why wouldn't he? Garrett found the Scarab, and upon touching it, he was granted a handful of cool superpowers and a blue spandex suit. Flexibility is key, folks. Dan discovered that he could call on the Scarab at will to spawn his super suit and his newfound powers, which included superhuman durability, super strength, and the ability to project energy blasts, as well as fly. Unfortunately, this version of Blue Beetle's suit was not fortified with armor like future versions would be. More on that in a bit. Ironically enough, Garrett was vulnerable to energy blasts himself, which is what eventually led to his own demise, and is why I'm speaking in the past tense. Superhero weaknesses do exist, my friends. Speaking of weaknesses, the next person to take on the Blue Beetle name in Azure Jumpsuit also had a glaring weakness, but in this instance, it was his heart condition. Fortunately for old Ted, his illness never killed him. Unfortunately for the hero, a bullet Bruh. hit. Cord was a master of espionage and acrobatics, and he was proficient with weapons, gadgets, and martial arts. Ted Cord was just an all-around badass spy. Cord's version of the Blue Beetle didn't wear armor either, however, he did wear the Scarab itself. He also used his handy-dandy Beetle Gun, which could produce blinding flashes of light, as well as ride around in the Bug, a solar-powered beetle-shaped air and sea ship. Look, it was the 80s, and things got crazy back then, alright? The third, final, current, and most popular character to become the Blue Beetle, who the upcoming movie just so happens to also be focused on, is Jaime Reyes. Jaime is a teenager who stumbled across the Blue Beetle Scarab, which unlike the previous Beetles, actually bonded symbiotically with Reyes. It turns out that the Blue Scarab is an artifact from space, and as I mentioned earlier, is actually called the Kajida an artificial intelligence created by an alien race of intergalactic conquerors known as the Reach. The Reach are extraterrestrial insectoids who attempted to invade Earth, all before failing miserably and leaving the powerful scarab behind in ancient Egypt. But that's neither here nor there. Jaime Reyes is unquestionably the most powerful version of the Blue Beetle to date, and that may be due to the fact that in the comics, the scarab that bonded with Jaime is a different model from the previous two, whatever that means. Like, what, do you go up to the retailer and just order these things? Hello, I'll take one powerful alien artifact and cherry red, please. Does it come in mauve? In all seriousness, though, while amalgamated with the Blue Scarab, Jaime can produce an Iron Man-like suit of armor around his body that is capable of tremendous feats. Not only does the suit protect Jaime from energy blasts and lead bullets, which if you remember took out the previous two Blue Beetles, but it also enhances his physiology in every aspect. Super strength, speed, agility, reflexes, and the rest of the stereotypical superhero works are all present in Jaime's arsenal of abilities. By no means is Jaime as strong as Superman or as fast as the Flash, but when wearing the Blue Beetle armor, he's physically one of the more formidable heroes in the DC Universe. Not only that, but Jaime can also create energy pulses which can be used offensively, and energy shields that can be used defensively. Mix all of that with his quick wit and teenage invulnerability, and Blue Beetle is a tough battler, no doubt. Now I know what you're asking yourself or yelling aloud at your computer screens, Armor is sweet, but where's the juice? What separates Jaime Reyes from the other Blue Beetles? The answer to that is the Blue Beetle armor that Jaime possesses has Technomorphy functionalities. Technomawacha functiona hoo-ha? His suit can transform into things. Cool things, scary things, destructive things. The Blue Beetle armor's Technomorphy gives Jaime the ability to manipulate his suit into different weapons, like his trusty plasma cannon, which is powerful enough to incinerate enemies. Or maybe Jaime is fighting close quarters and decides to break out a variety of random melee weapons, like maces and swords and stuff, which he can transform his entire arms into. I wonder if he could do the Edward Scissorhands thing. 
Regardless, Jaime can also produce a set of wings and use energy jet propulsion which allows him to fly around. Due to Jaime's bond with Kajida, the Blue Beetle has a powerful mind link to the Scarab and can call it forth at will, even if it's been severed from his body. Gross. Although the Scarab is the source of Blue Beetle's awesome power, it is also Jaime's greatest weakness, as occasionally it wrestles with the boy for control of his mind and body. That being said, the Blue Beetle is an exciting and exceptional young hero who has fought against and defeated villains like Black Beetle and The Reach, survived onslaughts from Guy Gardner, and even helped save the universe during the Dark Knight's Metal event, proving how profound his powers and abilities really are. And there you have it! Blue Beetle's powers and abilities explained. Are you excited for the Blue Beetle movie? Let us know in the comments down below. And be sure to enable notifications so you don't miss any crawly comic content.